Hello friends, welcome back to the Dork Side. I'm the Dork in the Road and I'm about to test ride this Honda 450 RL. Off-road, it's gonna be awesome. I'm the Dork in the Road and I wanna be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing. So we're swapping bikes. What's your channel name? Ride Can Hardly ADV. Ride Can Hardly ADV. And he's gonna ride my DRZ. And I'm going to take out the 450L and we're going to go get Sandy and see how we like it. So, oh, it feels so much lighter. You immediately notice a difference. Um, it's also taller than the DRZ. And obviously, you know, these are first impressions. The 450RL is a bike I've been interested in for a long time, but I've decided not to get one because I, all the things I hear about how bad it is down low. So I'm excited to try that. But uh, first impression, feels very light and nimble, solid, sturdy. I like the suspension on this one. He's got a seat concept seat too, so that's awesome. Good? Let's go see. Oh, he's got, so he's done the Vortex. Ooh, this is grunty. He's done the Vortex and uh, a bunch of mods. Obviously the exhaust, you can hear it. And so this has got most of the fixes that people say need to be done to the 450L to make it a viable bike. Um, for the kind of riding that we like to do. Also, D606 is front and rear on this. Ooh, yeah, so it wants to rev. It's not that much lighter than the DRZ, but it feels like it is. It just wants you to throw it into corners. Look at that crane. Let's see how it does on fast dirt. Oh yeah, it feels very tall. I'll give you that. We're up here, but this thing rips. I mean, not at all surprising. It re definitely reminds me more of the KTM Husqvarna's I've ridden than the other uh, Japanese dual sports I've taken out. There's a real bump. Okay. Yeah, got that front end up a little. Maybe we take this one. So make sure you bop over and check out his channel. I will link it in the description for you. Getting some pristine DRZ footage. So you can see how much faster the 450L is already. So this is loose sandy stuff. There's a layer of sand on top of more hard pack. But it's very confidence inspiring on that, especially at speed. Yeah, I don't feel, I don't feel anything. Um, no hesitation, not pushing. Oh God, very easy to slide the ass end around. Here's some whoops. Boy, she jumps easy. That's fun. That is fun. Let's go do a little bit of road. All right, I'm gonna put my visor down. You have a better chance to hear me on the road, but so far, very impressive off-road, very fun. None of this is surprising, right? Really not at all, but. Let's see how fast she goes on the road. Smooth, I can't believe how smooth it is with those Dunlop D606s. Nice, okay, starting to feel the vibration at 60. Obviously it's windy, so if you can't hear this part, I will summarize it later, but I do an hour or more on this easily. Cruise at 70, easily. A lot more easy than the DRZ, that's for sure. That is for sure. I don't know where this goes. That one up there looks interesting. Ooh, here's some more. Not super technical, but at least rutted. Washed out. Yeah, good test of the suspension and stuff. Ooh, deeper sand too. Not my favorite. All right, we're gonna go down to that stage brush and turn around. Ooh, aha, look what I found. A drop off, a drop off. Ah, oh, I fucking killed it. Ugh. Damn it. It is sandy. Ooh, that was fun. Yeah, it is easy to lift the front to get over those obstacles. This is a fun bike. I don't like how much I like it. Because I've talked myself out of one of these so many times. And, uh, yeah. All right. One more test. 
Because everyone says the worst part of this bike is slow speed first and second gear. And yes, he's done the ECU, so maybe that's fixed, I don't know, but uh, I want to test that. So let's go putz around at low RPM, see what happens. It's a fun bike, but it's a workout. It definitely pulls against you. And I see why people put the throttle tamers on them. First gear, first gear clutch in. See how bad we can lug it. Actually, let's put it in second and lug it. No clutch right now. I'm not lugging, dude. I don't know. People say they lug. Yeah, we'd wave, but we got to keep our hands on the bars. Put it in third. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too fast. Trying to lug it in third. What, what, how fast am I going? 10 miles an hour? It won't die. It just won't die. 15. In third. I don't, I'm not seeing the flame out. Huh. I don't know. It could do the trail stuff. Definitely got the power when you want to rev it. over these whoops, which will not come out on camera, so you're just going to have to trust me. Here's a big one. Yeah, I'm not slowing down at all, it's just eating them. Just eating them. If anything, I'm speeding up, going off the top, so I'm just not used to this good of a suspension, obviously. Got those steak pegs, which are nice. Yeah, okay, so overall, this is a solid quality motorcycle, not at all surprising. Suspension is very impressive. I like the power delivery, and again with the caveat that I know he's done the ECU and a few of the, what they call, necessary essential mods to this. Um, but, let's just say, uh, and I never thought anything would make me reconsider my DRZ, but damn dude, if there was a bike I would consider getting out of my DRZ for, it's been the 501, the 350. And now the Honda, definitely, if I can find a good deal on one. Sweet monkey, dude. Yeah, can't lug it. Trying to. Let's try sitting down. I don't like it sitting down as much. I don't like anything sitting down as much. Oh, some big whoops. Okay. Oh, my God. That is impressive, dude. That is impressive. That right there, like 30 big whoops in a row may have just sold me on this damn thing. Seriously. Wow. That last whoop section, yeah. I didn't even have to slow down. I've only ever ridden bikes heavy and soft like that, so that was astounding. So while it's fresh in my mind, let me give you my sort of final thoughts, conclusion on the 450L. Some of you know I've been toying with the idea of maybe getting a Husky 501 or a 350 or a KTM just to get something a little lighter to ride on the trails. I looked pretty hard at a Beta a couple times, but you know in my heart I'm a Japanese motorcycle fanboy. I love the reliability. I honestly love the styling. I love everything about Japanese bikes. And so when the 450 came out, I really wanted it to be the bike that was going to make it so I could do the stuff that these other lighter bikes will do, but on a Honda, on a platform that was super reliable. And then the stats came out and you know it was not that much lighter than the 300L. It was 50 pounds heavier than the KTM's. Uh, and then the other big concern for me was all these reports of it flaming out at low speeds, not being any good on technical trails. Because I'm not out here doing sandy whoops all the time. I like to ride the technical, you know, the rocky, ruddy, muddy stuff that we have in the Pacific Northwest. And so I really kind of crossed the CRF off my list. But riding this bike, it felt light and maneuverable. It felt flickable. The suspension impressed me repeatedly. And, you know, I think it maybe it's back in the conversation. Now saying that, it's because this one, he's done the ECU, but I could not lug it or get it to die at slow speed. And obviously I love the suspension. And the weight, while it is heavier, it doesn't feel like the DRZ. So if I was gonna upgrade from the DRZ, the best of both worlds might be that Honda. I don't know. So basically it's not off the list anymore. That ride was very compelling and convincing. 
I'd love to get some more time in on one. Or maybe I'll have the chance. Because I'd really like to ride one on the Pacific Northwest Forest Rails we have. But that's sort of my final conclusion on that 450L. It's, it's worth considering again. Super appreciate him letting me borrow that bike. And I'll link his channel in the description, obviously. But for now and as always, if you have any questions about my experience on the 450L, please feel free to leave them in the comments. But for now and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Well, thank you. Cheers. Jerky cheers.